Hi there. We are at Spice Street destination today. We are so excited. We've been looking forward to coming here for a long time. And uh, we finally decided today's the day. And uh, we're going to be spending the day here exploring the whole place. Exploring, uh, eating and drinking. Fantastic. What I like is, is that they've sponsored this episode. Yes, a very big thank you to Sunay Stradom. Uh, she arranged this all for us very yeah. kindly. Sunay's contact details will be on the screen and in the description below. Um, I mean, this is such an incredible destination. Yes. Two kilometers outside of Paul, easily accessible for everyone visiting Cape Town. So come and check it out. Yeah, let's enjoy ourselves. We shall start here. Exactly, you already get the wine cellar feeling here, eh? I do. <laughs> Most definitely. Oh, look at this press. Oh, this must be very old. The guys are delivering wood, chopped wood, for the fireplaces, I'm sure. This is an old press, eh? Yo! Look at this. That is good old Table Mountain when there were still lions around. <laughs> yes. Sit over here, you've got a stunning view of Table Mountain out there. Sure, the wine roots. Yeah, everything on your doorstep here. Yes. This incredible surrounding beauty. I don't think you'll be able to see Table Mountain today. It's a bit cloudy. There, it's just sticking out. Yes. Just, just, just see it. And Lion's Head, you see. Sure, that's far. You can hardly see it. You can see it all the same. The lawns are green, eh? Yeah, it's winter in the Cape for you after all the rain we had. Sure. These seem to be chairs, top chairs. Really? Spinning top chairs. Let's see. <laughs> yes? And they sit comfortably, eh? <laughs> Very comfortable, actually. Weird. It's quite comfortable. Yeah. And you can turn around like this. I'm surprised you didn't pick your favourite colour. <laughs> I picked the first one. <laughs> Actually comfy, eh? Shio. There's the main entrance where we came in. Yes. Look at that view, eh? Yes. Sure. We have to say that um, Sunay told us there will be a group of 90 students today. Yes. And they've just arrived. That's fantastic. Yeah, I'm very happy for, for that. They're going to have fun today. I think it's the perfect time to share a bit of history of the farm to set the scene. Okay. The historic farm itself dates back to 1693 oh. and was originally named Leeuwenjacht, meaning hunting lions. The heritage of Spice Root destination goes back to the historical mariners who used to trade eastern spices to Europe along the Spice Route for the spice trade in the 15th century. Wow. Spice route, as it is known today, was initiated in 1997 by the current owners. Fantastic, eh? And what a venture. Sure. So a huge, that huge group is tasting wine now, eh? Yes. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> so I think for a, a, a visitor, who's looking to explore the entire place. Yes. I think the best place for them to report to is guest information. Yes, yes. There they will get their passports um, and um, 
Sunay or someone else will explain what it entails and how it all works. Yes. And uh, we will also explain our passports a little bit later. Yeah, we will. I'm looking forward to getting stuck in and tasting all of this stuff. And eh? having your passport stamped. Yes. <laughs> oh. So our guest information is off to our right here. This is it. So right next to guest information is Jules restaurant. So I'm going to take a look inside. Hi there. I just want to go in here to the trading company at Spice Street. Yes. I'll follow. Yes. Pretty, eh? Everything is super gorgeous. Sure. Yeah. Proteas, wildlife, love it. Beautiful, some of these animal prints, which are always my favorite. Yeah, the leopard prints, always awesome, eh? This blue and white is pretty, hey? Very. Love that. <laughs> Did you see these? You can't miss these. <laughs> Good heavens. Uh, they're cute, eh? Is it a loose little spoon? Yes. Mommy. Love that.
Oh, this is really nice. Absolutely beautiful. This looks very interesting from the outside. Especially the roof, the yes. ceiling. Yes. To me, this looks as, as if it's part of that Tasting venue. Area. Yes. I'm sure at times they're very busy and they need this overflow space. Yeah. Love the walls. Yes. I know they're not old, but they look old. Yeah, it's very well done, eh? Yes. These benches are just gorgeous. Look at this. Yes. Beautiful. Lovely. You know, I think we better get to the tasting area so that we can start tasting this wonderful stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's almost time for the first one. I think it's right next door. Yes. So we're at the wine tasting area. The spice root wine. Area. The lady is stamping our passport. Great stuff. There you go. Thank you very much. So only one passport? Only one, yes. Only one. I don't have alcohol, but I have one for charcuterie. Okay. Yes. I'm so not it's one with the wine and the meat, and this is just the charcuterie? Just yes. the meat, yes. I don't know if it's that one or if I gave you the... No, no. This is perfect. Oh, is that one? All right. Perfect. All right. You may be seated. Thank, Thank you very much. Thanks okay. a lot. Thank you. So Sonia has picked this table. Sonia has. It's got a little bit of shade and a little bit of sun. So Correct. And I feel the sun's nice and warm, eh? Yeah, it's not that chilly anymore. No, which is not. Fantastic. Love it. I just spotted this map here. Look at this. All on tile. So Dusty and Sandy wanted to sit in this top chair. <laughs> so this is the passport that they give you when you come here. Spice route destination passport. And it's got five different tastings, eh? Correct. Um, it, one is for wine, then charcuterie, then beer, gin, and chocolate. Interesting, eh? I'm not sure of the exact order. You can choose exactly how you wish to do it. There's no correct order. Well, the beer and the chocolate are going to be pretty fun to do. <laughs> for me, I'm... I don't drink much alcohol, so I will enjoy the chocolate and the charcuterie, yes. Nice. Very cute that they stamp each one, so we've yeah, got two yeah. stamps already. And you keep it as a souvenir yes. as well, yeah, that's quite cool. Eh? This passport costs 315 Rand per person, including all five tastings. Interesting. So, the charcuterie has arrived. Sonia is having charcuterie without the wine, and I'm having the charcuterie with the wine. So I suppose now they're going to come and explain to me how it pairs with the meats and stuff like that, eh? Yes, I would imagine so. Oh. Yeah, Ole Rato is. Hey. <laughs> she is here to do just that. Okay. 
Olerato is pouring your wine. Nice. And I guess you will be explaining in a minute what you'll be enjoying. Oh, like that. Okay. So, my name is Olerato. Welcome to the spice room. Thank you. Uh, I'll be taking you guys through to your wine tasting. So, all our production is actually not happening around the farm. We have our um, cellar in the Swartland region. So, the first one you guys will be enjoying, Sauvignon Blanc. Now, a Sauvignon Blanc is quite known for the greens. Green peppers, green grass, asparagus, goats. Okay. And this is a 13.5% of alcohol. Now, these three wines, they were fermented in a stainless steel tank for about eight weeks. So, the Sauvignon Sauvignon Blanc also gives out those crispy fresh finished notes with some peaches and guavas as well. Okay. And then the second one you guys will be enjoying, this is one of my absolute favorites, the Chenin Blanc. Mm -hmm. Now a Chenin Blanc is a very versatile grape, can be used as a base for whiskey, brandy, sparkling wine and sweet wine too. And it's a 13 percentage of alcohol. Okay. Now this one is more on your tropical side, some kiwis, pineapples, yellow apples and some leeches as well. Okay. And then the third one. Yes. <laughs> And third one, you guys will be enjoying our spice root rosé. So this is a dry style of rosé and it's made from a single crepe, which is your Grenache Noir. That's a Spanish cultivar, also known as Ganacha, which is a very light, easy drinking style of wine. It's quite easy on the nose and on the palate as well, with 18% of alcohol. Okay. So for your pairing, we are moving um, from top left. We have Sauvignon Blanc, smoked cured pork, Shannon Blanc, Salami Pezu, Rosé with the pickle beetroot. The rest will be for your red wines. Okay, thank Perfect. you. Perfect. Thank you, Lerato. <laughs> we'll see you a little later. Are you ready, mister? I'm ready, I'm ready. Let's go. So, so this is the Sauvignon Blanc? Correct. Okay, and it goes with this? The cured pork, yes. I think she said. Yes. Have a sip. I'm trying to get the fruits that she spoke about. We know experts. Yeah. We but it, it's really <laughs> so the your blunt is nice. Eh? Is fantastic. Yes. Okay, the next one. I think so. I think you move on to the salami. Why don't you have a sip of the, did she say Chenin Blanc? Yes. First, this time. Mm. A little bit sweeter. I know why she says that's her favorite. <laughs> All right. You like that one. Mm. Mm. No, it's really nice. Okay, and then lastly the rosé. Yes. And then we move over to the reds a little mm -hmm. later. This is with a pickled beetroot, which we both mm. love. Yeah, love pickled beetroot. I think it's better if you is it better if you eat first or if you have a sip first? I think it's better if you eat first. Okay. Mm. You combine the two. That's nice, but I like, this one's my favorite. The middle one? Mm, yeah. All right. <laughs> These are your reds. The, starting from the left, it's Grenache, Shiraz, Sinso. Then it's Pinotage. And then Chakalaka. Yeah, Chakalaka, I can say. And Olerato says, you drink first and then you eat. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> For the meat pairing, you can just twist your platter around. So oh, is it around like is. this? Yes. So the blend with the Milano, pinotage with beef salami, chakalaka with the beef pepperoni. Okay, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Now it's you and your three reds. Yes, taste first. Oh, Grenache, Shiraz, Sinso. That's a mouthful. Yo. So out of the two... That's a smooth one, eh? Very nice. Is it? Ah. Because I thought if pushed you will always choose white. Let's see if these change your mind. I like this one. This one's very soft and smooth. Does it go well with a Milano? Mm-hmm. 
Now it's the pinotage. So interestingly, she says a pinotage is a cross-pollination between Pinot Noir and Hermitage. Yes. It's South Pinot African. Hermitage. Yeah. And that is salami. Hmm. That flavor is nice. Like that. Okay. You can tell us the favorite of the three at the end of it. Chagalaka. With a pepperoni. Yes. This one's my favorite. The Grenache mm -hmm. Shiraz Sinso. Yes. All right. So we are done here. Now we need to go and see where we're going to next. Yes, the prices. Yes, welcome to Spice Root Wine Tasting. Winemaker's Journey 75 Rand. Wine and Charcuterie or Vegetarian Journey 120 bucks. And Dessert Journey 150. Very nice. Yeah. This is if you don't buy the passport, passport with yes. all five tastings. That was an enjoyable experience. Let's go explore further. Let's go check. We have our passports we're supposed to explore. Yep, let's do that. I'm looking forward to getting to the brewery. I know. <laughs> I'm glad you did the wine first. Yes. Because now you've got the beer to look forward to. Yeah. Beer is very much your thing. Oh, we're going to Mooi Goeters. Yes. Which means pretty things. Mooi Goeters, shop, create, paint. Yeah, I see so it's also called mooigoeters.com. Yes. Nice. They're busy preparing for a market in Pretoria now. So oh they said... Lots of packing going on. Yes. <laughs> busy, busy, busy. Busy. Is this where you do the clay workshops? The ceramic painting. Oh, ceramic painting. Okay. Fantastic, eh? Look at this. Beautiful plate. The little rabbit on the tiles. Oh, I love these plates. Look at them. Beautiful. Textured. Yes. Gorgeous. I know I love animal prints and wooden stuff, but for some reason I'm drawn to the blue and the white. He's pretty. Very. So this is where they do the painting. Yes. So these are blank canvases. Yeah. Folks can come and live out their creativity here. Yep. And make the mess here. <laughs> So now we're on our way to Brenda's. Handcrafted produce. Established in 2007. Let's go check out Brenda's. Love it that the sun is shining on our backs when we're outside. Yeah, as soon as it sticks its head out, it's nice and warm, eh? Look at these succulents. Yes. I want to have a look at them first. 
Oh, it's quite beautiful here, hey? Wow. I see they're busy replacing the reeds. This is pretty, eh? Yes. I wonder what I they did with them this. with a lot of rain that they got. I don't think these need a lot of rain. No, they don't. That's why I'm saying they could die if they get too much water. Um, we had a cactus once. And you drowned it. Sorry to say I did. <laughs> I thought it looked too dry. Yeah. Come look at this. Check how blue that sky is. Yes. What's it's definitely looking? cleared up here. Yeah. Look at the drops of water in the centre there. Oh yes. Wow there. Eh? It's beautiful. This is a nice space. Yes it is, eh? Wow. It's going to Brenda's. Come to Brenda's, as you believe. Oh, la, la. Got the sticks on the ceiling. How beautiful is that? Oh, very nice. What are they? It's little pieces of wood, yeah, sticks. I love these wooden things like butcher blocks mm, and stuff like love that. Love that. Yeah. 300 is actually not bad for no, this heavy one. Not at all. See, this one is specifically for a baguette. Okay. Oh, we have a fruit bowl in the shape of a exactly. barrel. Yes. yes. A little bit longer than that. It's, it's very similar to this one. Very similar. Yeah. That's a big draw for you. Yeah. You'll have a party with this, eh? Look at all the chutneys. Tomato chutney. What is this? Ripe fig chutney. Yeah. Imagine. Brilliant. I'm looking for something specific and if I find it I'll tell you. Okay. But we'll see if he's Yes, That's your favourite. Turkish delights. Oh, but it's not good for me. <laughs> oh I miss my mommy. Yeah. Try our coffee sometime. Look at this. Well, Sugar-free Turkish delight. I shall peruse this while you browse further. <laughs> okay. There's just so much to show, eh? Yes. So I think yeah, the we olive can... oils. Extra virgin olive oil. Onion marmalade. Yes. Wow. And then we get to the balsamic vinegars, mm -hmm. balsamic glazes. Prices are quite reasonable, eh? Huh? Very Must reasonable, say. yeah. So I have spotted, look at this candelabra. <laughs> um, Cordial. One of your ultimate favorites, and I want to see if you spot it. You found it? <laughs> now you're going to make me search for it. You'll have to redo the cordials because I'm bringing some samples. Uh, okay, great stuff. <laughs> You're welcome to taste as well. Okay. So. So you're welcome to grab a cup. Okay. Pour a little bit of the syrup in and then some of the sparkling water. Okay, I'll do that. Thank you. What are the flavors? There is. Um, Elderflower. Uh, rose. Geranium. Geranium and then lemon grass and lime and then ginger and lemon. Which one do you want to try? I'm going to try oh, the rose. What, the rose geranium? Yes. yes. 
did the lady say a bit of the cordial first? First and then the water. Mmm, smells good. No, it does, eh? You can't indulge, eh? No, no, no. Just a touch, eh? So I suppose it's yeah. concentrated. Do you yes, think yes, that's yes, enough? Yes, no, that's enough. Give it a test. Do that. Oh wow. Goodness me. Was that enough that I put in there though? Perfect amount. The perfect amount. Okay. Yeah, that's absolutely stunning, eh? Love it that they give it with sparkling. Yes. Alright. Oh, guava jam is not something one sees often. No. Honey. Oh, it's guava jam, green fig, raspberry. <laughs> oh, so why are you chuckling? Tomato jam. I have to take tomato jam. Yes. Yes, I have to. I need it and I need your credit card. Yes, okay, <laughs> cool, there it comes. Yeah, smell the spices. Tikka masala, fish masala, magic masala, mild curry, sizzling steak, tandoori. Nice. Garlic granules, garlic flakes. Smoked paprika, pink peppercorn, white peppercorns. Turmeric, cayenne pepper, paprika. This is so cool. Mustard seeds. And then you're going to start from this side and you can choose the spices that you want to use in your spice mix. We're going to put it in a grinder for you. So the main thing you need in your, um, your spice mix is salt. That needs to make up 40% of your grinder. That's about one and a half spoon. So you can do just one and a half of these. If you have any questions, you can just ask us. Yeah, are you ready? Yes. yes. Grab a bowl. That's all white, all pink. All you can mix in. <laughs> but you must add up to one and a half. When you are done with your bowls, you can come over to that side where we will put it in a grinder for you and put a label on and you can put your own name on there. Oh, oh cool! <laughs> These are the different teas. Wow. Look at all of this. Four season spring green tea. Wow. Moki ginseng or jinshuan. Yeah, Moki jinshuan. Dong Ding, all high mountain. Wow. Look 
at the Himalayan salt, but look at this solid piece of Himalayan salt. Ours is even finer than this when we yes. buy it. Crazy, eh? This, this is the place to come and buy it, actually. And you now you're getting the genuine thing. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> On this side. Oh, they even get a label. And you hear all the grinded tops for the yes. Super interesting. Thank you so much. Okay, let's see what's else on the list. This was very interesting. We've just finished here. Yeah? Brenda's. So now we must... Oh, that's where we're heading now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you're happy about that. Cape Brewing Company. <laughs> Premium beer brewery. Let's go. Yes. Look at this. What does it say? It says here, what's in a name? Spice Roots name reflects what the vineyards, the destination, and the people are all about. It recalls the ancient mariners of the 15th century braving the tempestuous waters of the Cape of Storms as they plied their trade, taking exotic eastern spices from bustling markets to Western Europe along the so-called Spice Route. The spectacular view of Table Mountain from the Spice Route farm takes your imagination back to similar scenes which would have greeted those bygone sailors as they rounded the Cape Peninsula. In much the same way, we invite you on a sensory journey of discovery as you traverse, experience and taste all that we have to offer. Let's traverse. Welcome to Spice Root. CBC. Cape Brewing Company. Check how busy it is, yeah. Eh? That's nice. Yeah, and nice and warm inside, eh? Yes, that's how it goes in a beer place. Yeah. And then tanks. Yes, how amazing, eh? If I was sitting behind a computer, I'm sure it's like a whole scientific process. It must be. Wow. I'm crazy about all their beers. Light lager, milk stout, lager, amber, weiss, weiss. Pilsner. Beer. At one point you were keen on a pilsner. Yes, I enjoyed a pilsner. Oh. All for the tasting. All for the tasting, yes. <laughs> And we thought we were picking a quiet Thursday, not in a beer tasting room. Not in a beer tasting room, welcome to Paradise. <laughs> true, true. Hi. This is us getting our passport stamped here at CBC. Thank no, you. Very official. <laughs> so where do we go now? Okay, so you guys can just follow me. Cool. Do you need to go, young lady? Thank you very much. <laughs> Cool bean. Thank you. Hi there. Passport. Passport. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. You guys want to do uh, beer or you guys want to do sizes? Beer, please. Beer yes, yes. <laughs> How many beers does he get to taste? Four beers. 
laughing. <laughs> so, uh, first off, I just want to say welcome to CBC. Thank My you. name is Reese. I'll be a tasting host today. The first beer I tasted in is a lager. This is a typical southern German style lager. It's called Hellas in Germany because it has this lovely golden color. And all the ingredients inside of this beer specifically are from the Munich region. Okay, from Munich. Okay, from Germany. To keep yeah. the authenticity of the beer. Okay. And with that, it brings a smooth balance towards the hops and the malt flavor. This alcohol is 4.8% alcohol by volume, and it's material units. It's 24 international units. Okay. Yeah. So it's not that much at all, yeah. and it's still a very much easier to do. Lecker. So you have that first. Mm -hmm. All right. You've been. Wow, You've it's like a German lager, eh? Cheers! Mm. Oh, I'm still a beer man, eh? <laughs> oh, it's stunning, eh? Is it good? And it's true what he says, it's not that bitter, but there's a little bit of a bitter, uh, which is awesome. Yeah, oh, love it, love it. And it's also nice and silky. You've got three more to come. Three more to come. And they don't give small little glasses. No, so I take it, it easy. <laughs> it's like the whale watching. She's like, oh, this is like... You look way too comfortable for my liking. I need a, I need a seat. I... Then I'll get stuck here. <laughs> Fortunately, I found a seat yeah. close by. So the next beer you're having is our CBC Pilsner. Pilsner? Yes, Pilsner. Oh. Pilsner is also a lager style of beer. Yes, yes. The only difference between a Pilsner and a lager is when a lager reaches the bitter unit of 28 and above, you're allowed to call it a Pilsner. Oh, yeah, so, so it's just a bitter lager. Okay. It's also a bit more drier, yes, yes. a bit more crispier. Yes, yes. Uh, our Pilsner's alcohol is 5% alcohol by volume and its bitter unit is um, 32 international oh, bitter units. Okay. Yeah. And we, fun fact, we say bitter units. Yeah, oh. IBUs, international bitter units. Okay, okay. interesting. Yes. So, so it's uh, the scale we use to determine how bitter a beer is. A fun fact about a Pilsner, the first Pilsner was brewed in the Czech Republic in a small town called Pilsen, hence the name Pilsner. And there's a myth also going around that the first Pilsner was brewed or opened, um, I mean, um, the 11th of the 11th month, around about 11 a.m. Wow. Yeah, so well, let's believe it. Let's believe it. We let's will believe it. It, so, it sounds nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 so enjoy it. Sir. Thank Love you. That. Thanks, Luis. Okay, so you have been known to enjoy a Pilsner. I let's love try. a Pilsner, yeah. So nice. Mmm. Just the right amount of bitter units. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's a little bitter, more bitter than the, the normal Pilsner I'm used to, but this is stunning. Good. You're being treated today. Very much so. <laughs> so the next beer now is our CBC Amberweiss, this one yeah. right here, yes, it's yes. a flagship beer and also our top seller. Yes, yes. Uh, it's an additional German wheat beer, so as you can see by the color, it's very murky. We serve it with the proteins and yeast still present inside of the beer itself. Yes. And the flavors you'll pick up due to the yeast, the speciality yeast we use is banana and clove. Yeah, yeah. So the banana is quite prominent, you'll taste okay. the banana in the beginning, then the clove afterwards as an underlining tone. Its alcohol content is 5.2 and its bitter unit is 11. So it's also the least bit to be aware of yeah, okay. CBC. And you also said that your brewmaster comes from... Yes, our brewmaster comes from Bavarium, and this is the beer they drink that side. Okay. So and this is also the beer that actually, um, he made his name with this beer. Oh, serious? Your brewmaster? Our brewmaster. What is your brewmaster's name? His name is Wolfgang Kudel. Kudel. Fantastic. Wolfgang Kudel. Thank Thanks, you. Reece. Thanks, Enjoy, sir. All right. You try the Amber Vice. I want to know if you taste banana. Struz bananas. You do? Serious, eh? And has clove come through yet? No, I don't know clove, but bananas I definitely taste. Wow. They're top seller, hey? Yeah, it's nice. Enjoyable. Enjoyable. Good. Oh, so the next one is our CBC Pale Ale. Personally, my favorite. 
a, it's a US style ale, so we use two different types of hops inside of it. Um, hops from the US and also local hops from the Georgia okay. region. That blend of hops formulates flavors of lychee, granadella, and also a wide variety of tropical fruits as well. Its alcohol content is 4.5% and its bitter units is a bit high with 35 international bitter units, but it don't really taste it because it balances out nicely with the fruitiness of the beer and goes quite smooth under the bitter palate. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. Thank you, Lisa. This is your last one, are you sad? Yeah, sad, very sad. But let me try, this is, this is his favorite. The pale ale. ale. Yeah. But he says are high. that they combine the hops from America and South Africa. I hear that. Did I hear George region? I don't know, I didn't hear that. <laughs> So this one is interesting. So I want to base it. All their beers are nice, eh? This is so nice. And, you're and, have to he, and he says it's, the bitterness, he says, is high, but you don't taste the bitterness because of the combination of stuff. The fruitiness so. balances yeah. it out, yeah. But you're going to have to pick a favorite. I didn't ask you to pick a favorite at the wines, but because you're a beer guy, you're going to have really the pale ale? This one. Reese. This one's it's my also favorite. His favorite. This one's stunning. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. So smooth and soft on the palate. You know, it's not not harsh. Like some of them are a bit bitter, but this one's not that bitter. Yeah. Really Thank nice. Thank you for a nice experience. Thank you guys for coming. Have a nice day. Thank you. Oh, this is stunning. Enjoying that. Mm -hmm. I'm so glad. Yeah. Good. Oh, this looks so interesting. A red beer. Okay, Reese, what's happening? Okay, so here by CBC we follow the Rheinlandsgebot. It's one of the oldest laws. It's a German purity law, which says that you're only allowed to use four ingredients in all of your beers. Okay. Hops, yeast, malt, water, no additives. Okay. So the different styles of beers we get from the different environments the beers are in and um, how much ingredients we add of certain um, certain ingredients compared to the others. Okay. Yes. So with this beer, uh, we we actually didn't obey the law. <laughs> you got naughty. Yeah, our brewmaster wanted to be a bit naughty and play around. Yeah. So we added an additive with this beer. All right. We added natural raspberry fruit syrup to give it its lovely color. So what we do, we take our triple gold medal winning uh, crystal weiss beer yes. and we add 3% raspberry fruit syrup to it. To wow. give it the color. To give it the color and also to give it, to give it, it the taste. The flavor. Okay. Yes. Its alcohol percentage is 4.5 and its bitter units is 16 international bitter units. 16, Which is quite one low. Six. Yes, wow, one six. That's really low, eh? Yeah. Even though it sounds a bit high, 16 in comparison to the others now. Yeah. Because if you think about it, it has more bitter units than our amber vice. Okay, great. So what are Enjoy. these? Tell me what okay. these all are. So the first one. This is hops. hops so yes. hops, the responsibility is to present aroma and also bitterness to a beer. Okay. This is malt. So you get different types of malt. Oh, they're all malt. This is barley malt. And this is roasted barley malt. Okay. This is wheat malt. And this is roasted wheat malt. So the responsibility that wheat malt has, or not wheat malt, but malt in general has, it, pre it presents body to the beer okay. and also contributes to the taste of the beer. Okay. So the, 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 the smoke and the, the, the roasted and the unroasted will give a different flavor. Yes, okay. so the roasted we use in milk stout okay. to okay. give it its color and also um, to give it its taste. Yes, yes. Because in a, in a milk stout you'll taste um, the smokiness, you taste more lasses, that gets released from this. Um, I'm very glad you didn't bring out the milk stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Thank Reece. you so much. Please, you guys. Look at this. It even smells a little on the sweeter side. Yes, yes. Oh, it smells like cooling. Mm. Yo, this is dangerous. I want to taste it. Yes. <laughs> Not dangerous enough for me. <laughs> yes, that's not my vibe. But the pale ale is still my favorite. Okay, good. Yes. What a that nice was experience. Awesome. This that was. was so nice. So you would nice. have a lot of fun here at the beer tasting. Definitely. Huh? I would have got stuck here, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> Thank you.
motivation. I just wanted to show you what we're going to do. What is that? Is here. So they're bottling. They're bottling, yeah, yes. Yeah, the empty, the empty bottles without labels, guys. Yes. So, my angel. Yes, this is what I have been waiting for. I know, I was looking forward to the beer, mine's done. Now this is the chocolate room. The chocolate room by Bayer, so is it? Yes, it it's must be Bayer. Bayer. It is Bayer, yes. yes. All right, so welcome. Indulge in a truly special chocolate experience with the finest ingredients and a wide variety of flavors and textures. Our chocolate is responsibly sourced and 100% traceable to its source. Fantastic, that's good. Okay, I'm keen, I'm keen. Yes, okay. yes. Hi, hi. 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 Hello. Thank you, you're going to stamp you our... Good, and you? Good. You stamp our passport. Yes, I will. We're very excited about this stamp. There we go. Thank you. This one goes in here. Thank you very much. Fudge. Oh. I know. Fudge is one of your weaknesses, yes. eh? Double chocolate trouble. Now look, mm -hmm. that says it all. Boutique fudge. Sure. Milk that. Pistachio, I would love pistachio. <laughs> Grenadella sorbet, salt and cashew. Vanilla truth, oh. Raspberry balsamic, that's interesting. Cookies and cream. Okay. Dark, Dark top, loaded. top loaded. yeah. Milk top loaded, all right. Turkish Can delight you see again. the difference there, hey? Yes, in milk chocolate. Oh. Peanut butter, vanilla, chili, strawberry. Chili? Salted caramel, okay, that just so sounds this good. Is ultimate, ultimate, ultimate yes. orange and chocolate is the best combination. Cookie dough. Rooibos, Rooibos tea. tea. Oh, that's more sweetie pies, and this is ice cream. Ice cream? Or sorbet. Strawberry champagne. Look at this chocolate. Mm. It looks intense chocolate. Sure. Amarula fudge. Oh, I, I just said that um, orange is my favorite, but this is Thai cherry, cherry liqueurs. <laughs> when you bite into them and that liqueur bursts. Mm. Oh, Beer celebrating. truffles. Beer truffles. No, no, no. You've had your bit today. <laughs> Beer and pretzel chocolate truffles. That can be nice, eh? Punchy pineapple desires. Pineapple in chocolate. Wow. Dashing strawberry, dashing blueberry. I love the names they give them. Yes. So this is where we're going to taste. And this is where they make. Oh, check those things spinning around there. I know. I see no signs uh, that they have a vacancy. I might as well <laughs> ask. Look at all their molds. Right. So, so this is Jermaine, also known as? Chuck Norris. Oh! <laughs> I love it. I love that. Hi, Jermaine. Thank you so Hello. much. Um, welcome. And Thank welcome you. to the chocolate room by Kies Bayes. Today, I'm just going to briefly show you what is in the inside of your five different chocolate pieces. Right? Okay, cool. You can open the box for me. Then you can just have a look inside. Look at that. It looks awesome. So that's our, our top five pieces. In the box will be two dark chocolates and three milk chocolates. Right? Let's start off with the first piece. This is going to be like a blind tasting. I want you to tell me what is the filling inside that piece. And as you can see the molding is nice and thin. That's a good quality molding. Yeah. Now that's a, a smooth, clean, dark chocolate flavor. Mm. 
Yeah, next one I can see maybe you will you can see what's the filling inside. Yes, I could. Yeah, I, I, I recognize it from the other side there. It's our famous rooibos tea. We love rooibos tea, that's mm -hmm. why. The filling is nice and smooth inside. And I can smell it even here. Mm. Yeah, all our chocolate is made by love. And you can taste the rooibos, eh? Definitely, there's a subtle taste of rooibos there. Yeah, next one. Just remember, before I'm going to tell you what's the filling inside, Ooh. this filling will take you back to Steers and you will buy yourself some ice cream there by Steers yes. and you will tell them, please dip it for me in caramel dip. Okay. Caramel crumbs and cookie dip. And it's like got a shiny layer on. Just remember everything mm. by hand. Yo. I'm not a can taste the caramel. Okay. Yeah, that one for me personally, it is too sweet because why it is in a milk chocolate with a strawberry velvet filling inside. Okay. And that velvet filling is also for me too sweet. Mm -mm, but sounds... just imagine that filling in dark chocolate. Good combo. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it. Mm. The fact that it's a liquid center. Mm. Right. Mm. No, this is nice. And this one? Yeah, that's a vanilla custard flavor. Wow. And, and just it's... remember, all our fillings is local. Mm -hmm. This is dusted in gold by hand, yeah. Chuck. Mm. And just, I want to show the, the um, audience, or can I say audience, or people, mm -hmm. they mustn't forget oh. four times. The Rugby World Cup. The Rugby World Cup. Nothing, just remember, we are now one year old. We are, we are world Not champions. Years, right? oh. yeah, yeah. Thank you so much. People, I just want to say thank you for taking yeah. part in it. Thank you, We will. We thank appreciate you. Thank, thank, you thank you. So that's the chocolate factory. Buyers, eh? Buyers, yes. yes. We take it to the confectionery designer, Craig. Yes, Craig, yes. yes. And he says that they're moving part of it to here. The ice cream part is coming to this building and they're busy renovating it at the moment. Yes, they're hoping to have 40 flavours eventually. Wow. And then also light meals and such. Yeah, like little breakfasts and stuff like Pancakes, that. Pancakes, pumpkin fritters, That'll traditional kind awesome. of things. That sounds amazing. Once it's done, it's going to be another reason to come back, eh? Yes, renovations <laughs> apparently start in October. October, yes. So it's on to your last tasting. Yes, ma'am. Being the gin. Yeah, that's going to be a new one for me. Wilderer Distillery. Yes, that's Tasting it. Tasting and sales. That's it, yeah. All the way through the back, eh? Wow, look at this. Hello. Hi there. Hi. We're coming for the gin tasting. The gin tasting is up the stairs in the back door. Okay, thank you. Inside? We'll sit inside it now, for now. Yeah. You sure? Yes. There you go. Thank you very much. Thanks, Lelani. Thank you. What a view, eh? I'm opening the door so that you can go check out the view. It'll actually be quite nice outside, yeah? I think so. Yeah. I'd prefer sitting here in the yes. sun. Yes. Look, there's Table Mountain now, clear. Much clearer than this morning. Yes. Okay, where shall I put it? Oh, here's yes, fine. You can put it just here, it's okay, cool. But windy outside. That's okay. It's okay, there's sun. And here we have rose water, 43% in alcohol, that's neat. You can expect Turkish delight in your palate. Turkish delight? Turkish delight. That's nice. Then you have Feinbosch Gin. This is our number one seller. Also 43% in alcohol, very herbal because of the Feinbosch in it. Alright. Okay. Please do try it neat before adding the tonic just to get the palates, the okay. flavors on your palates. Okay. Then you can add the tonic. And the passport is only the two gins. Alright, so you start with whichever gin you prefer, neat. So this one she says is let me i have to try and remember this now she says this one is the what did she say it is 
rose water. Rose so water. So you'll get a taste of Turkish delight Turkish in delight. your mouth. That's what I remember. A little bit, I think. Turkish Delight flavor is definitely there, eh? All right. Definitely. But it's hot, eh? You know that hot feeling? <laughs> Add some tonic water. Okay. What is it? What does it she say? Says on just the a little bit of tonic oh, water. On the can? It says sparkling tonic flavored water. Drink. Okay. Indian okay. tonic water. Right. Indian tonic. She says just a little bit, eh? I think so. It, it, it's to taste, so you must decide. I think of probably a bit more than that. Probably a bit that's, more that's than that. That's nice, though. Oh, it's nice. All right. You don't see yourself becoming a gin drinker, though. Not at this stage of my life, no. All right. Let us go for the Feinbos gin. Yes, Feinbos. Can I smell it? Yes. You know, my, my mom and her best friend <laughs> Your drank g and Your mom. And this reminds me. Yeah. I smelt that I in the glass. I wish you guys could have met her mother. She was a treat. Her and I used to love rugby and watching rugby together. You know, they had the, <laughs> the brand we all know with yeah. the juniper berries on. Yes. Takes me back. Wow. Verdict? It's nice. It's just very hot. You know, when I mean hot, when it goes down my gullet, warms up the tummy. I think maybe you need to add a little more tonic water. No. No, now it's nice. All right. Now it's very nice. Which of the two do you prefer? This one. This one's nicer. Very nice flavor now. I'm going to dilute the rose water one a bit more. See if I get Turkish delight because I love Turkish delight. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Mm. Turkish delight big time, mm. eh? Ever so nice. <laughs> Don't get stuck on it. <laughs> Take off to your mom now. now. <laughs> uh, I'm, I might just enjoy some of that. I'm sure hey, you Let's will. do that and then we will see what other surprise Lalani has in store for us. Yes. What do you have there? Christmas in a glass. Yes. Also known as? Apple pie moonshine. It's a liqueur. I think Lilani said this is their second best seller. Yeah, yeah. So I definitely smell apple pie. My angel, you smell the cinnamon. I can't wait to taste it. I'm certain I smell cinnamon. No, I'm sure you do. Wow. With it being apple pie and all. Let me taste my angel, it tastes just like apple pie. Christmas in a glass. The cinnamon flavor comes through. Incredible. You taste it? I do, but it's extremely strong. Wow. The sure. I enjoy the, the smell more than the taste. What a cool experience this was, eh? It's very potent, eh? What happened now? You took too big of just, a gulp. No, it just hits my 
the back of your throat. Yeah. Oh, it's very nice. Yes. And this is where you mix all your the gins together and you can produce your own personal gin. Check here. Wilder, my own gin. <laughs> oh, they blend the, you can blend your own gin. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Lalani. Such a pleasure. Okay, thank you. I hope you do enjoy the day further. We will. If we'd like to have something light to eat, we can do it next door. Yes. Okay, perfect. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye. So, here at La Grapparia Pizza and Bistro, we have just decided to have the tropical pizza, ham and pineapple. Yes, the pizza. It is looking good. I like the thin crust, eh? Came quick, eh? Very quick. Look at this. What is this all? I'm not sure. This looks like chili. That's definitely chili, and this must be <gasps> garlic. garlic. Nice, look at this. And enjoy that. This is going to be fantastic. So the pizza is done for. That was a delicious pizza. Stunning pizza. We've just said goodbye to Sunay. Yes. And, um, oh, what a fantastic day. I, I mean, it was just awesome. Yeah. And look, it's turned out to be a beautiful, sunshiny afternoon. It's true. Nice and warm. The wind's blowing, but it's fantastic. I really enjoyed this place so much. Their website says give yourself two hours, but uh, I suggest you give yourself at least double that if you should come here. Yeah, I know. Um, it is an awesome place to come as a group, uh, to come as a couple, a family. To have end of the year functions. I hear they're f getting crazy bookings for the end of the year. So yeah, if you want to do it, book in time for a function. <laughs> we would like to say thank you very much again to Sunay yes. for arranging this all for us. Her contact details will be in the description. So yes, if you're ever in the vicinity, Pay Spice Route to visit. You'll love it. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you in the next episode.